Uh, I didn't get started in the restaurant industry or the hospitality industry uh, like most others, uh, and maybe a lot like most others. I came from the rock and roll world. I was playing music and traveling around and recording during the 70s, and that came to an end. And uh, right around the end of the 70s, I realized I have, I've got to start to do something else. And I ended up in the uh, hospitality industry. I was in Madison, Wisconsin, came up to Minneapolis area and started working at the Chan Hassan Dinner Theater, uh, working out there just out of the blue and one of the most fortunate moves I've ever made in my life. I've learned so much coming into the hospitality industry. After trying to learn the, the details of the mechanics, if you will, I've been very, very fortunate to have come into an opportunity to get together with other folks in the hospitality industry, particularly chefs, and create an event in 1992 in Minnesota for the Super Bowl coming that year. It was called Taste of the NFL. And literally, it was just bringing a chef representing a great restaurant from each NFL city, pairing him with a player, an alumni, or Hall of Fame, or current player, and throwing a party but it's called Party With A Purpose, and the only reason that we started in 92 and amazingly continue now getting ready for our 28th year is uh, to raise awareness and dollars for hunger. The hospitality industry is, to me, the most giving industry out there. Everyone's asked in different industries to help support their community, but I'll tell you, the first people asked and generally the first to step up and really deliver are people in the hospitality industry. The chefs, the managers, the restaurants, the servers, the bartenders, the cooks. Uh, if they get an opportunity to support families that are a little bit more in need than they are in their own community, they'll, they'll, they'll step up. Hunger is a hidden, hidden issue, and we in the hospitality industry are the very best equipped to continue to raise more awareness and action to help those in need. Well, Taste of the NFL, when it started in 92, before that I had helped uh, start Taste of the Nation with Share Our Strength, a great organization out of D.C. and still continuing on, and I did a, a number of other local events here. It's grown since then because I've seen the opportunities of the success and the model, if you will, uh, that Taste of the NFL has been able to provide. So that event has grown into some one of the most significant events uh, in the uh, area of raising awareness and dollars for hunger, but also it's one of the premier events at Super Bowl every year. Started right here in Minnesota, was here just last year in Minnesota, and we continue to uh, move that event forward. And for me, I continue to meet some of the greatest people in the industry. Just Taste the NFL related events, we've been able to create over 220 million new meals. I've been so blessed with where my career has taken me. I'm totally blessed with my incredible wife who exudes kindness. We've, we've been over 35 years now uh, together. We've got three great kids. We have five granddaughters. I don't have I don't have anything to complain about in my life because I've been so blessed. I've had a business partner for almost 30 years now in this business. That's rare as well, but uh, Mark Haugen and I have just clicked ever since uh, 1987 and that's another element of it. I think the most wonderful thing about my life is the life that I've been given the opportunity to live and that is I'm blessed every day and as a dear friend of mine says you count your blessings every day.